Hey y'all, I want to give a quick update on our barn build. So uh, we worked really hard yesterday uh, getting the footers uh, dug out, getting some uh, rod and the rebar and stuff in the in place in the footers, get everything lined up and um, we are uh, getting ready to pour the footers today. So check it out. Here we go. It is beginning. Let me show y'all what we have over here. All right, y'all, so here, if you take a look, this is how the barn is set up. So that um, driveway through will be right about here and looking right at the house. So it's gonna be really cool to be able to see that chandelier down uh, in there from the front porch. That was kind of the design we were looking for. So I'll show you what we've got. We've got the rod in, we've got the rebar in, we've got the trench dug. So this is just the footer pour. Um, then we're gonna do the slab pour over here as well. And then this is for the uh, hangover porch. And this right here is gonna be poured uh, when the slab is poured. So no footers necessary here except on the posts on the end. So uh, yeah, this is it. We are making progress and I'm super stoked. And this will be, um, this will be poured today. All right, this is awesome. Well, here we go. Concrete is here and we're getting these footers poured. So pretty excited, um, long time coming, but here we go. Right, y'all so uh, barn build update uh, this week was all foundation work so um, we got everything squared out we got the footers poured um, we got the block on um, we've got everything formed up and uh, now just some finishing touches getting ready to pour uh, the final slab in a couple days so let me show you really quickly what we're what we're doing today all right, so um, there's only a couple things going into the actual foundation, into the slab. Uh, we're doing a wash stall right here for uh, uh, horses or you know, whatever. If Heather wants to wash a goat, who, who, who knows? So I'm, uh, I'm installing a, a trench drain. So this, this entire area, it's gonna be an eight by 12 stall, is going to slope down towards the wall into this trench drain. So I'm working on that right now. Um, it's gotta be really precise, right? It's gotta be, um, uber level and have a uh, just a super gradual slope out to the end here I actually had to punch through this this concrete uh, wall to get the drain pipe coming out and this is just going to go to uh, to open air so uh, I'm eventually going to put a 90 at the end and then it's gonna it's just it's just gonna you know run down to the low part of the property uh, down here and drain out that's going to be our drainage for the barn um, at this eight foot mark here uh, you can see we're gonna have a water line coming in too. That's that's coming next and then we're gonna wall this area out and on uh, the right hand side uh, Right over here. We're gonna have sort of a, 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 a utility room. We're gonna we're gonna reclaim that really cool uh, Cast iron kitchen sink that that we saw out there in the woods right over there and install that in here probably have some good cabinet space um, it, and, and, and that's where our water is gonna gonna basically come in. So those are my projects for uh, for today. And uh, um, it's actually you wouldn't know it, but it's actually cooled off quite a bit. So it's actually really kind of kind of nice. I'm working out here 
uh, right now. So, um, and you, you know, I just love doing this, this type of stuff. So, um, yeah, we're going to finish this up, um, try to get it uh, mounted and I'm going to use rebar to, to sort of make sure it stays in there and um, get that water line in. I'll show you the progress at the end of the day and then uh, just get ready to pour. And then of course the Amish will be down to uh, build the barn. It would be great or help us, I should say. All right. Thanks. <laughs> y'all it's never a true DIY project until about your fifth trip to Lowe's so uh, um, I've got to get this uh, trench drain and water line um, into the uh, into the foundation will be for the pour the foundation so um, I need a couple extra pieces to figure this thing out so here I am again fourth fifth trip I can't remember I lost count Look who's, look who's come to help or maybe deliver some lemonade. Yeah. Is that, is that, is that lemonade? No, it's margarita. <laughs> well, maybe lemon, lime with a little tequila. That's about that. <laughs> Limeade with tequila. Yeah. Want some? I'll take a little with sip. With jalapenos. I'll take a little sip. Fresh jalapenos. Mm-hmm. How's it going? Well, come take a look. Ooh, tasty. Um, trench is set. I'm going to let the... Um, the sealant harden, and then I'm going to just test it with some water. I mean, it should be fine. It's, got, it's at a great angle. Now I'm doing the water line, so just broke through the uh, block here, and uh, I'm just going to do a 90 do at the at the end, and um, and yeah, stub it up and um, anchor it. Oh, look at that a butterfly! Anchor it with some uh, rebar, and we'll be good to go. How'd you break through the... Well, you know, that's pretty interesting because I looked um, extensively to try to find how to break through a uh, concrete foundation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, highlight this in the video. It's actually pretty easy. You score the four sides and you just start to... Uh... Four score and seven <laughs> years ago, I broke through concrete block. Sure, I'm sure I'm not the only one. That's how I did this. it. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to put this in the video. <laughs> you should. Anyways, I'll explain it more in the video. <laughs> I think she's had one too many of those. <laughs> this is my first. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I was going to uh, do a 10-foot run of pecs, and then um, at the end down here, I actually have a 90 stub up, right, using a, using one of the pecs connectors, but I thought, hey, this stuff is pretty flexible, so if I just dig a little bit deeper, I can just use one continuous piece, and I feel like that would have one less fault point within the slab, so I have a little piece of rebar down here, have it anchored there, then this thing will straighten up. Like I said, this is going to be a wall right here that we're gonna that we're gonna put in and um, I think this will this will work really well for our main water line punched right out down here. So now I'm just gonna fill this sucker back in.
right y'all it is uh about 10 till 7. the first uh cement truck should be showing up here about seven o'clock to start uh pouring the final sub of the foundation guys who are helping me out here should be showing up here shortly too so this is it it's the last day we're getting this foundation in and then ready to start building so pretty excited all right y'all here comes uh one of two trucks getting ready to pull in y'all here we are it's the end of the day and uh um we are all done foundation is is finally in i'm super stoked to show you what we got um you know the outside pad the barn the dirt stalls we are ready to start uh start building up now so um super stoked foundation looks great and we are just really excited and um ready to continue on <laughs>